Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, the canine chef in training, here with another jewel worthy doggy treat. I know we normally have a new video out Wednesday morning, but mom has been on staycation and slacking in the video editing department. She's had other things to do like cleaning the yards, cutting down brush and trimming trees, washing down the siding on the house, getting poison ivy all over her ankles and legs, just to name a few. Her staycation looked more like a workcation to me, but we enjoyed keeping her company while she did all her yard work. I had to relax in my pool because I was so tired from watching her. I mean, when she goes to her job, she works here at home, so we get to see what she does, and I'm telling y'all, she doesn't do nearly as much at her job as she does when she takes a week off. I bet she will be happy to go back to work tomorrow so she can rest some. She's also filmed some jewel-worthy cooking in the middle of all of this. Do y'all remember a few weeks ago when I said the grocery stores were all out of good meat and mom was stocking up on 50 cent canned tuna? Well, here it goes. She is now creating tuna treats for us. I have to admit these were jewel-worthy, no complaints from us. Mom made these for Nolan's two-year adoption anniversary last Thursday. He was adopted April 23, 2018 at three months old. This is Nolan when he had his first bath at his new home. He was scruffy looking like me. Then here's Nolan with the older sisters enjoying treats. Notice they all have their tongues stuck out. They were having jewel worthy treats long before I was even born. They just never experienced the Bobby Joe level of jewel worthy until I joined the family and became the canine chef in training. We are out of whole wheat flour so mom has been trying out other things for our treats. This treat is cheesy tuna oat doggy treats. You need one can of tuna in water, drained, one egg beaten, a fourth a cup of shredded cheese, and one cup of oats. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Mix all the ingredients together in a bowl. The ingredients will not come together to form a dough like it does when we use flour. You're basically coating everything in egg and cheese, and as it cooks, that will make everything stick together to form the treat. Spray a mini muffin pan with olive oil spray. You can also use silicone molds that are safe for baking if you prefer. Press a small amount into the bottom of each circle, just enough to form a thin treat. Do this until all the ingredients are used. If you want enough to fill up an entire muffin tin, then just double the recipe. Mom was just making a small batch. Well, a small batch for four dogs. This is probably a perfect batch for one or two dogs. Stick it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. Take out and cool and share with all your doggy friends. Bobby Joe, you got anything to say? <coughs> Nolan, it's your adoption birthday or adoption anniversary. Carla, Carla, Carla. Nolan. I love it when her little ears are There you go, buddy. Here's your special treat. You get to go first once. In a lifetime there, buds. Year, well, twice. He gets well, on his yeah. birthday, too. Bobby Joe, you're going to go last. Good catch. You're getting good at that. Well, there you have it. Another drool-worthy doggy treat. We will try to get back on schedule with our weekly Wednesday morning videos, alternating one week dog treats, the next week human treats. We will try. Mom is in the middle of some pretty big projects around here, so we will see how that goes. If you like our video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you try these, please let us know. And you can also share a photo on my Facebook page. You can also like and follow my Facebook page to get more updates about what I'm up to throughout the week. Well, until next time, stay safe, say your prayers, wash your hands, and have a blessed week.